corner I can't even see your smiling faces can you come over here just a little bit we're not gonna get too comfortable anyway we're gonna be on the move but guess what Jesus loves us very much and the Bible tells us that very thing and I hope that you heal up soon and perfectly well hey everybody it's so good to see you all today I'm so glad that we can worship together today here we are in a room called the sanctuary. And I wonder, does anybody know what the word sanctuary means? Sanctuary? Here in the church, we have all sorts of big fancy words that not that many people really know what they mean. Yeah. It's a place where we worship God, most definitely. Very good, yeah. And sanctuary is a word that means safety. See, we come in here and we are safe. We're not just safe to worship God here, but we are safe to be ourselves. And that most definitely includes all of you. You are safe here to be yourself. And all these folks out here, your church family, we love you just the way you are. Pretty cool, huh? This is a safe place. During our gospel lesson today, Jesus says something about, hey, don't put anything in front of the little children so that they can't come to me. So guess what? We're going to take a little bit of a field trip today around the sanctuary. Are you ready? Yeah. And we're going to go into some of the places that I wonder, have you ever been there before? And so our first stop, what we're going to do today is that we're going to look with our eyes and we're going to listen with our ears. But today we won't touch with our fingers or our toes, okay? But the first place we're going to go is right back here behind the altar. Raise your hand if you've been behind the altar before. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. Come on, let's go. We're not going to put a stumbling block in your way. There is a step, though, so do be careful. <laughs> and you know I did it because I was asked. That's right, and you did such a fantastic job doing your first acolyting today. Woot, woot. Come on up, everybody. Come on, dude. So here we are behind the altar. Come on in. It's okay. This space in our worship uh, space in our sanctuary is called the chancel. Can you say chancel? Chancel. Chancel. That's right. Now, now that we're here, I'm thinking about one of my very favorite parts of the whole worship service that we do each week, and it's something that's said from right back here, and today it's going to be Vicar Natalie who says it, and we get to say, peace be with you. So right now, I want you to be our leaders, and just say to your church family who loves you, peace be with you on the count of three, and don't hold back. You ready? One, two, three. Peace. Yeah. See? People hear you. They see you. They love who you are. Our next stop is at the pulpit, which is right over there. It's where we read our readings from and where we preach from. Go ahead and step up if you'd like. Don't tear my sermon out. It's far from memorized. Actually, if you take a step back, you'll notice that there's a step up that pulls out right here. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Can you see up and over? Can you see? Can everybody see? So I think when we read from the Bible from this spot, and when I'm preaching or Vicar Natalie or whomever is preaching, we are talking about God's love. So I'm hoping, oh, you good? Yeah, come on over. You've been behind the pulpit before. Followed closely by dad. <laughs> so, when we're here and we're sharing God's message, what we're trying to yeah. say is God loves you. So, can you be our leaders today right here at the pulpit and tell our church family that God loves you on the count of three and don't hold back? One, two, three. God loves you! 
Anything you all want to say? Yeah. Amen. Good. Yeah, very good. And when we're not in worship, and if you feel like, you know, coming back here and just taking a look around, maybe if you have a friend or a family member, somebody with you, that could be helpful. But the next place we're going to go is right back there in the back center where that ginormous shell is. Will you follow me over there? That's the baptismal font. That's the baptismal font. Very good. You ought to know because you're baptized. Yeah. Now, I wonder, as you get closer to this, could this be a real shell? This couldn't possibly be a real shell, could it? Oh, we've got some doubters and some believers. That's okay. If it's deep down in the sea. It is a real shell. Can you imagine the pearl that came out of that thing? It was probably this big. I know. So cool. Well, today we have a little bit of water in our baptismal font. Now, this is another thing where it's usually good to have, you know, maybe parent or caretaker, grandma, grandpa, somebody with you when you do this, especially if it's a big reach for you. But when you are near the baptismal font, you are most welcome to put your hand into the water and to make the sign of the cross on your forehead, just like this. You want to give it a try? I'll be happy to do it if anybody wants me to. I'm doing it a thousand times. And do you know what we say when we make the sign of the cross on our forehead? We just remind ourselves about our relationship with God as God's children, and we say, I am baptized. So could you tell our church family right here on the count of three and don't hold back? One, two, three. I I am baptized. You can do a little bit better than that. Ready? One, two, three. Amen. Now, this thing is pretty fragile. It's super duper heavy. So do be careful. But if you're near to it, who we're going to make it? sure to keep. So- I don't know who found it. Who found it? Born who found this shell? Anybody? It was given by Pastor Tonneson. Oh, okay. This must have been found at the very bottom of the sea. Somebody found it. Only wow. Gi- giant shells can only be found very deep. Yeah, because so. nobody can okay. see them. Like. When you're just they can't just wash up. That's true. Yeah, because they're so, super heavy. When you make the sign of the cross on your forehead, sometimes you'll get a lot of water on your hand, and you'll make the sign of the cross, and it'll kind of run down on your face. Is that okay? In some ways, yes, and in some yeah. ways, no. Yes, it is okay. First, you know, it's a bath. You're done with your bath for the day, so that's fine. But also... We're supposed to always live with that water reminding us of our blessing in God that we are God's children. So when you're nearby to the baptismal font, check with an adult around you and say, I want to dip my hand in the water, make the sign of the cross and say, I am baptized. We're not going to put a stumbling block in front of you. We're not going to stop you from growing closer with Jesus, little one. I'm sure whoever's around you will say, yeah, let's do it. Let's remember that we're baptized. So remember that this is a safe place, and these are safe people. You can be, and we won't climb up the front of it there, pastor's child. Honey, don't do that. This is a safe place, and these are safe people where you can be yourself. We love you for who you are and that you are, and you are invited to just proclaim Jesus like the rest of us. Okay? Let's pray together. God, we thank you so much for this safe place where we can gather and worship you, where we can remember who you are and who you have made us to be. We ask that we might always feel welcome to be ourselves. In Jesus' name, amen.